I first started falling in love with softball probably by the age of nine. Um, when I was younger, I played a bunch of different sports, soccer, basketball, softball, um, anything that I could play, get my hands on, I would do. Um, but when I started playing travel ball at the age of nine, I really fell in love with the sport um, and continued playing it throughout my life. And I think that that's when I first really fell in love with the sport. Softball is a great sport, um, not only because it's a team aspect where you have a bunch of girls and a family aspect of it, um, and it's just a really great atmosphere, um, but it's a physical and mental sport where you really have to work both sides of the coin, and I think that's a really interesting and fun aspect of this sport that some sports don't necessarily have, um, and people don't really realize how mental and how physical softball really can be. Um, the thing that made me come to college as a student athlete, again, is my love for sports. Um, softball in particularly, I found an enjoyment of playing uh, this sport, and I think that I could not see myself not continuing it um, into college. Um, I couldn't see myself as a regular student. Um, and I think that finding the right school and finding Pitt was really lucky for me because I fell in love with it, I fell in love with the girls, and I think that that was a great um, experience and help me even more continue that love and I think that that was a really important I mean we're the Panthers what else is special about Pitt but um, no the, the, the academics of this school are very very high and I think that that's a really important aspect of when I was picking schools um, was the academics and then you got to the environment of the school the, the rah rawness and the school spirit was really high, um, especially when I came to visit. And I think that um, having that school atmosphere and that, that school spirit is really important. I also fell in love with the beautiful campus. I and mean, how do you not look at the Cathedral of Learning and not fall in love? Um, and then you have, you know, the girls on the team when I first came and met, and they were just so welcoming and, you know, really really showed me what their team is about and I think that that really drew me in to the University of Pittsburgh. Um, you learn. You live and you learn. When you're a freshman you come in and you're, you're juggling a bunch of things and, and life is new and then you have the seniors and the juniors and the people who have been there and they just help you along the way and then as you learn, um, you know, you have to take your stuff on the plane or the bus. You have to make time in the hotel to do your homework, as well as being really communicating with your uh, professors. Um, and you learn and you move on. And as you become a senior and you, t you help your freshmen, and it's just this great cycle of you know helping each other. Um, even on the bus, if we're in the same major or in the same classes, helping each other through those um, classes and through homework or anything that we can help each other out with. And I think we learn time management with each, with each other by, um, through experience and through um, teaching. So I think that that really helps, um, especially the team aspect. Um, there's actually a few things that I think could be emphasized. Um, discipline is one thing. Uh, being an athlete, you need to have a lot of discipline um, to understand how you know things are going to work out. And I think that another important thing is you know time management, communication skills. Um, for me, I, I am a communications major, um, and I'm looking to go into marketing. Um, and having that communication skills and being able to manage my time are two really important aspects of that job. And I think that when I meet people. I want to portray that I have good communication skills um, and be able to fluently have a com great conversation while emphasizing that I'm here to work and ready to do what's necessary to help the company. And I think that those are important aspects that being an athlete have helped me um, build up. Don't let failure keep you in fear. Failure is going to happen in this sport. Um, you're successful if you hit the ball three out of ten times and seven times you fail. 
And the thing that my dad has always taught me is we learn from our failures in order to succeed. So do not be afraid to fail as long as you're working hard and putting in the effort and being aggressive for what you want. Don't be afraid to fail because in this sport, failures will happen. Trust me, I've had my fair share. Um, so if you can get past the idea that failures will come and learn from them, you will be successful. I could say hi to my mom, dad, Alex, Shana, what's up? Uh, Pitt softball, and let's beat Notre Dame. Hail to Pitt. How's it going? What's up, Pitt Nation? Pitt softball is playing Notre Dame Friday at 3 and 5. Sunday, it's not Sunday. That's wrong because it's on Saturday. Blooper reel. Take two. <laughs> What's up, Pitt Panthers? Pitt Softball is playing Notre Dame on Friday at 3 and 5 and Saturday at noon. We've been doing really well and have a great series going on. We want to see you there making some noise and really beating those Notre Dame Irish. Come support us out on Bartobedian Field. Hope to see you there. Hail to Pitt.